गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई माई सेल्फ दिवाकर पांडे फ्रॉम कुंती नगर मॉडर्न इंग्लिश स्कूल नवादा एंड वेलकम टू यू इन योर ई लर्निंग क्लास टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड यू माई फर्स्ट वीडियो लेक्चर ऑफ लेसन टेन इन हिस्ट्री एंड द टॉपिक इज ट्रेडर्स किंग्स एंड पिलग्रिम्स नो इन दिस चैप्टर वी हैव टू स्टडी अबाउट द ट्रेडर्स अबाउट द किंग्स एंड अबाउट द पिलग्रिम्स वाट व contributions and importance of these people in past culture of india now this chapter is being started from a short story and jagini who is a a school girl this is the a story of short story of jagini jagini has reached out to a fair that was held on in his village in her village to so jagini is wandering in the village fair and she is looking different kinds of things like as pottery toys etc she wants to touch those different kinds of pots that are looking very beautiful and she wants to know about those things who makes this toys or pottery so now we come to the chapter and we try to follow the northern black polished ware about which you have also studied that northern black polished ware was that pot which was famous in that time in northern india as you have studied about it in chapter 9 this finery pottery particularly was as balls it means it was a ball and plates that were found from several archaeological sites throughout our country it means throughout the indian subcontinent now you can ask this question that how these things reached at these places it means traders might have carried them from the places where they were made to sell them at other places now when we talk about south india south india was famous for a metal that was gold it means south india was famous for gold a species especially paper paper and precious stones etc paper was particularly valued in that time in the roman empire so much so that it was known as black gold to which a species was known as black gold in roman empire paper काली मिर्च जिसको आप बोलते हो तो काली मिर्च जो था वो रोमन साम्राज्य में उस समय काले सोने के रूप में प्रसिद्ध था तो देर वॉज अ ग्रेट डिमांड ऑफ पीपल इन रोमन एम्पायर दैट वॉज ग्रोन इन साउथ इंडिया इट मीन साउथ इंडिया वॉज नॉट ओनली फेमस फॉर गोल्ड बट इट वॉज ऑल्सो फेमस फॉर स्पेसिज स्पेशली पीपर एंड पीसियस स्टोन्स ऑल्सो so traders carried many of these goods to rome in ships across the seas and by land in caravans when we study we find there must have been quite a lot of trade as many roman gold coins have been found in south india to so, roman empire was related for the traders traders pas um, trader purpose and it was related due to this relationship of business roman gold coins have been found in south india now when we study the next point we find traders explored several sea routes yes they used to explore several sea routes and when we study we find some of these followed 
the coasts there were other across the arabian sea and the way of bengal at these places sailors took advantage of the monsoon winds to cross the seas more quickly so if they wanted to reach the western coast of the subcontinent from east africa or arabia they chose to sail with the southwest monsoon and a sturdy ships had to be made for these long journeys so like this they used to came in our subcontinent and they used to come in our subcontinent and they used to trading work okay now when we come to know about a new kingdoms sir yes new kingdoms along the coast so which were the new kingdoms along these coasts the southern half of the subcontinent it means the southern half part of our india is marked by a long coast line and with hills plateaus and rivers valleys it means hills plateaus and rivers valleys were situated in half southern half of the subcontinent amongst the rivers valley that of the kaveri which was the most fertile area chiefs and kings used to control the river valley and the coast to become rich and powerful so like this they became rich and powerful by controlling these river valleys how you will study in the chapter sangam poems about which you have studied in chapter 9 to so these sangam poems mention about the muvendar who were muvendar muvendar were the three chiefs it means this is a muvendar is a tamil word which meaning is three chiefs and this word was used for the heads of three ruling families and these three ruling families were the cholas cheras and pandyas about which i will discuss you in next video thank you and try to study the chapter okay bye